turn my hound hours and I'm your hound doom and I'm back baby woo woo arr, arr, the crowd goes wild yes though I am back from my hound atus and my hound atus lasted for forever and a day but guess what guys I'm back from hound atus because summer's breaking out this was the first day of summer and I'm so happy Yes, I survived the school year. I didn't kill no one. I didn't kill myself. I, <laughs> no one's dead. Yes, I did it. I survived. <laughs> I deserve a congratulations in the comment section for living through this rat hole. Also, by the way, I'm going to be um, making some story time vlogs about the horrible rat hole of a school that I have been going to my whole life that I have just been blessed with being able to escape from there and go to an actual good school. So I'm going to be talking about that, but not today because today um, to kick things off. I'm gonna do a haul video because I went yard sailing today and I got some really cool stuff. And just for the record, I know that I'm late at making this video. I was supposed to get it out to you guys Friday. You guys all anticipated Friday. And my video schedule, I'd like to get videos out every Friday if I can. Every Friday and Tuesday if possible, but mainly Friday. And um, this this one didn't work like that this one did not do that and the reason why because i have had a crazy horrible week and a crazy horrible past few months but i'm seeking help for that so we're okay now we're good so um and any other words uh I'm good now. Yesterday, too much came up for me to make a video, but today I am. Just be happy I made a video at all. I could have just skipped it out and not made a video for you guys at all, at all, okay? So just be happy that I'm making a video at all because I want to get this started, get this started right. It's the first day of summer. Let's go. Let's have fun. Let's bond and let's get my channel back to rolling, y'all. Now, before I uh, show you guys the ginormous and really good haul that I got today, uh, I want to show you guys my outfit. Houndoom outfit of the day, y'all. I'm wearing black jeans. I'm wearing two crosses tied up and tangled up together like this because they are together. How cool, how cute is that, y'all? These were separate crosses, but I got them tangled up. So I've been wearing them like this. And I got my uh, humans aren't real shirt because I don't believe in humans because, um, I mean, I'm a hound. I'm a hound doom. I'm a, I'm a houndy. I go by houndy. Uh, I'm also a velociraptor, a lime, a midget giraffe, um, a baby cow. I'm a queen, I'm a prince, I'm, um, I'm a butler, I'm a maido, I'm a host, I'm, did I say a kitty cat? Because I'm a kitty cat. I'm a whole bunch of fun and crazy is what I am. Woohoo! Anyway, I hope you like this shirt. Uh, I got this shirt for like five bucks one time. And I thought it was going to, like, shrink, and it didn't. And I'm happy that it didn't, though, because I actually love the size it comes on to me because it looks kind of awkward and stocked, which I like because it's an awkward and stocked shirt. And this is, like, just, it fits my personality so well. Just humans aren't real with this alien head and the whole uh, tangle braid cross, double cross, the black pants, the whole thing. This, I've been looking stylish all day and I've been rolling around on my Heelys all day, which I'm not wearing my Heelys right now, so I can't show you guys. Anyway, so now that we've gone over my style and my amazement, let's, let's get on to the haul. Okay, so if you don't know what a yard sale is, because I just recently found out that not everyone knows what that is, 
Our yard sale is whenever uh, people, they sell their possessions and things that they no longer want. They sell them at their house, uh, on their front lawns, at tables, for cheap prices that you would not get at a store because these all of these items are used and were previously owned. So they're usually very cheap, although some cheapskates like to make their yard sales expensive as crap. Anyway, those are the ones we don't talk about because we is poor folks. Any hoozles, so um, just, just ignore that. Um, if you can't tell, I'm hyper right now, so that's that's cool. I'm getting back in the video swing. I'm kind of uncomfortable right now, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so yeah, that's what a yard sale is, and I go to yard sales. Um, I haven't been to yard sales in quite a few months, really, because a lot of stuff going on and I've been busy most every weekend and it's been absolutely miserable and crazy but since the summer starting up I've been going to um, yard sales I went to yard sales last week and I did get a few good finds that I wanted to make a haul about but I didn't because I didn't have time um, but it was just a few items really good items but just a few items and I might make a bonus haul to show you guys um, and show you guys the stuff because uh, I actually am in the process of cleaning and getting rid of stuff so that I can have my own yard sale and sell stuff and make money um, and I'm in the process of that so I have quite I, I've there's a lot of stuff I haven't placed where it needs to go yet anyway so um, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff now um, and I'm gonna tell you guys the deals that I got for them which I'm very proud of okay let's go all right, starting out, the first item that I got was, if you don't know me, which actually if you do know me, you still don't know this fact. It's a little secret I keep. I do collect Beanie Babies. I know a lot about old rare Beanie Babies, the first Beanie Babies made. I know a lot about Beanie Babies. I've collected them since I was a small child. They're just very near and dear to my heart. So I got a Beanie Baby that I have been searching for for a long time. And last week I actually did find this Beanie Baby, but the lady wanted it for like five bucks that I didn't have. Um, I didn't have that kind of money and she wouldn't let up on the price. She said three bucks, which I did not have. I had two dollars. Um, so some people are mean at yard sales. Some people are horrible. I usually try to do, you know, look really cute and get my way, but not everyone. Not everyone kneels to my feet at yard sales. Anyway, uh, we went to some a uh, rich person house where they were selling a lot of really good items. Of course, there was a lot that I didn't get just because I didn't have a need for them. You know, I didn't I didn't need the items. They didn't. They were just something that wouldn't affect me. You know, I didn't have room for. I wouldn't use them. You know, but they did have a lot of really good items. And for rich people, these items were amazingly priced. Um, a lot better price than some of the poor folks that have yard sales. But I've been looking for this, um, this giraffe beanie baby because I collect giraffe related items as well as cat related items. I collect those. I'm a big collector. I have a thing about collecting and hoarding certain things. Although not like hoarding to like unhealthy, disgusting obsession because I tend to be a bit obsessive and compulsive and organized about different things. Uh, I got a lot going for me, but, um, this is a giraffe beanie baby, so it combines two of the things I love, beanie babies and giraffes. It's a, um, one that I really wanted for a long time now. He's, um, he's a 1995 beanie baby, and his name is Twigs the Giraffe, and they, this yard sale actually had three of these. They had two twigs that were two dollars each which is not bad for twigs, cause yeah. But um, different be Beanie Babies go for different prices and usually people at yard sales mark up twigs really high, but that was not bad for twigs. And another lady wanted five bucks for twigs at the same yard sale. So I got the cheaper twigs and of the two twigs, only one of them had the tag, which the tag is its value. So. I got it with the tag and the little poem inside is um is 
Twigs has his head in the clouds. He stands tall, he stands proud, with legs so skinny they wobble and shake. What an unusual friend he will make. He did make an unusual friend today. He made me, and I love him. So meet Twigs, the giraffe, beanie baby, and I still haven't taken the tag off. Um, so yeah, he was $2. At had that same rich person uh, thing. I got a cup, because I wanted a cup of my very own, because I often get cups, and they get taken from me. Like, I had a special Big Bang Theory cup, and members of my family used it to the point where it is absolutely destroyed, and I cannot use it anymore, because we have to throw it out, because it's completely destroyed. So, I wanted my very own cup, but I didn't want to get a sippy cup or anything like that. I'm not creepy like that. But I found this really cool, really shiny, almost really new looking. There's, like, no scratches or dents in it. Camo cup, and I love camo. I really love camo. And it does this, you know, so it's got the perfect opening. You know, it's, I can put hot drinks in here, you know, so. Um, I like the shape of it. It's good for holding and it's got a handle. So I got that and this was 50 cents actually. It looks freaking new, but like there's nothing messed up about it. So I got my own special cup now. And it is 50 cents, and I'm happy. So next up, um, I went to a yard sale from these people that had obviously traveled everywhere. One of the two owners of it, the woman and her daughter, the woman had an I Love Italy shirt. And all through their yard sale, they had stuff like travel journals. They had stuff from Africa, Germany, Italy, Japan, a bunch of stuff. They didn't have a lot of Japanese stuff, though. They had a bunch of French stuff, too. They had a lot of stuff. Well, um, the thing about them is I actually really like Japanese stuff. Um, it interests me. Whatever. Don't judge. So, I got two things. I got, um, a Maneki Neko, which is the Japanese good luck cat. And it's got a little cat on his head. And he's not holding his coin like they usually do. And I don't know what that symbol on the fan he's holding means. Um, if you know what the symbol he's holding means, that'd be nice. I don't know what it means, but it's a Japanese good luck cat. It's the calico looking design of it. And, you know, it's, it's easily breakable. It's got a hole in the bottom from where it was blown. And I really like it. Um... I really like it. It's really cute. I have several Maneki Neko related stuff. Next up, and oh, by the way, this was 25 cent. Also for 25 cent from the same place, one of the only other Japanese little things they had there. And yes, it does say made in Japan, so don't say. Actually, several places have that figure. It's not just Japan. Well, this is Japanese. It's made in Japan. Okay, it's a Komanu, also known as a lion dog, and his mouth is closed, making the M syllable, meaning the ending, because the A symbol, uh, the, I mean the A sound means um, beginning, and the M means end. So he's, his mouth is closed, he's making the M sound, meaning ending, which is cool, because I actually do have a Komanu um, door hanger bell thing, kind of, that has symbols on it. And the mouth of the Kamanu is closed, meaning ending. So, I, I really like Kamanus that have, like, the ending, you know, the, you know, the Omega type feel to them. So, that, yeah. So, it's this thing. I haven't taken the 25 cent tag off. Yeah. This isn't broken. This was made like this, by the way. You could very obviously tell. Um, breakable, too. Breakable, too. I had to protect these all day from breaking in a car. Huh. So, from that same yard sale, which, by the way, these came from the same yard sale, so I did buy them at full price. Um, I do try to haggle, though, at yard sales. From the same, that exact same yard sale... I bought all of these CDs. So I'm gonna show you each of the CDs. So I got this. Um, 
It's an original Broadway recording, two CD set, so you know it's twins. And the reason I'm not going to actually show it in full is because it's a secret because um, it's I got it for someone, but the someone watches the channel. And I don't want them to find out that I got it for them because it's not time for them to know yet. So, um, it's, it's cool. I'm pretty sure that was $2 or something. But I got a deal on it. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was $2. Uh, all these other CDs I will show you in full, though. I got Sounds of the 80s, 1984. If you don't know me, you know there's five types of music I love more than any music, which I love variety. My favorite types of music are 80s music, Christian hip-hop, bubblegum dance, country music, classic rock. So those are my favorite genres of music. And I, of course, am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with... Um, obsessed with 80s music so sounds of the 80s 1984 so many of my cds are 80s music the songs up here is ghostbusters talking in your sleep jump for my love somebody's watch watching me missing you out of touch the warrior you might think that's all footloose let's hear it for the boy caribbean queen no more love on the run hold me now karma chameleon blue jean 99 left balloons the glamorous life and Joanna. And if you know any of these songs, well, most songs that you're going to hear in media and stuff, except nowadays they tend to do really modern things, most things you're going to know are 80, are actually from the 80s, most songs. I know a lot of the songs I heard as a child are from the 80s, which gives me a really deep and emotional connection to 80s music. So, and each of these 80s CDs were priced at 50 cents. I got... Sounds of the 80s, The Rockin' 80s, which has Another One Bites the Dust, Modern Love, Stray Cat Strut, Middle of the Road, Walk of Life, I Didn't Mean to Turn You On, The Tide is High, Can't Fight This Feeling, Shout, La Bamba, Love Shack, Legs, Manic Monday, Down Under, Vacation, Urgent, Hold Me, and You Belong to the City. And a lot of these songs I really, really love. Like, they mean a lot to me. Like, Stray Cat Strut is deep in my childhood. I Can't Fight This Feeling. REO Speedwagon, of course, means the world to me. I love that song um, for reasons. Uh, love Shack. Love that song from childhood. Just these song. a lot of the songs up here mean a lot to me. So I really like this one. Um, Sounds of the 80s, 1985, which has Take On Me, We Build the City, Sleeping Bag, Some Like It Hot, Every Time You Go Away, Walking on Sunshine, Relax, Sea of Love, I Want to Know What Love Is, Miami Vice Theme, The Heat Is On, California Girls, Say Elmo's Fire, Man in Motion, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Broken Wings, Voices Carry, Freeway of Love, and Night Shift. And... I got this, Bring Him Home, The Engaging Melodies of the 80s, Jim Frode, Piano. Um, and I really like the cover of it, because look at the cover. You got stuff from Fano of the Opera, Les Miserables. Um, there's a picture of John Lennon. You know, it's really cool. So the songs here are, You Are There, All I Ask of You, That's What Friends Are For, A Shokin Farewell, From a Distance, It Might Be You, Leader of the band, On My Way to You, Chariots of Fire, Memory, Do You Hear the People Sing, How Do You Keep the Music Playing, I Just Called to Say I Love You, Where Do You Start, Wind Beneath My Wings, The Best of Times, Key Largo, Love Changes Everything, Anthem, Up Where We Belong, Perhaps Love, Wasted on the Way, Through the Years, Love Will Keep Us Alive, Music of the Night, Somewhere Out There, Babysitter, and Bring Him Home. So this is a very, like, lovey-dovey type, feely type thing. <laughs> I wear Heelys to escape my feelies. And this, I love this one so much because it has so many songs I love. The best of 80s pop party songs. And it has Melt, I, I Melt With You, Love Shack, Take On Me, You Might Think, Wild Wild West, Rapper's Delight, Bang the Drum All Day, Key, no wait, Need You Tonight, 
owner of a lonely heart and whip it. Whip it good. You guys know that song? I said whip it. Whip it good. All right. And so, yeek. You know, if this would work, that would be lovely. This video is going to rain forever. I don't care. So, I got these plus the twin CD, which I'm not going to hold up again. Um, and those figures. And I think for a total, I spent like $3.50 for all of it, despite the fact it's worth like maybe six bucks, I think. So, that's really good. So, next up, uh, I went to Ross, and today was kind of a day to spoil me, because it's been a while, it's the start of the summer, and I think, I think my family's just glad that I'm alive after the school year has killed me so bad. So, uh, my godmother decided to spoil me a little bit, which I normally don't get. I'm really grateful, even when I get a pair of shoes, I'm unnervingly grateful. But look, I got this really cool sketchbook. It's uh, it's 110 acid-free pages. It says, believe in yourself, imagine, be creative, bright ideas, draw, live for today, dream for tomorrow. And I really like it, and it's really my style. And uh, funny thing is, I'm not done with the sketchbook that I currently work in. I'm not done with that. Also, I've been using a lot um another sketchbook quite frequently for practice and i have a scrap sketchbook as well so i have those three sketchbooks running i'm not done with any of them and i have a very very special sketchbook that i've not even started on because i have been waiting for the right inspiration because i don't want to mess it up i don't know but I'm definitely going to use it. I'm, yeah, I just want to make sure I only use the best supplies for it. Um, the, one of you watching this video are going to know what, what that sketchbook is because you got it for me. So, Anyway, I just want to make sure it's the best. But this is, um, I really like this. And I think I'm going to use this to make a comic series that I want to maybe make. Um, and another one of you a friend of mine knows about the comic series and wants it to read it if I ever made it so you might get the chance to. Um, next up I got these oil pastels which by the way this book was $6.99 this is $3.99 like I said I was just being spoiled for the day I normally don't get this stuff. Uh, this is by Pinelli Quality Artist Supplies it's oil pastels it's 48 colors they're for use on paperboard and canvas. They're wide spectrum of brilliant colors, easy blendable, and smooth color layout. So look at these, look at these. I'm gonna pull them out just a bit. You can see. Look at these, 48 of them. Beautiful oil pastels. And if you guys don't know, I actually do really enjoy using oil pastels and oil chalk like products. I really like this stuff, so I'm very happy that I get to use that, and I'm going to definitely use it to make the comic look really nice. I also got this Orgel mouth pain stuff because um, this is my backup because I already have some mouth numbing goo. This is some backup mouth pain stuff for me because um, last time I went to the dentist, they, or orthodontist, they screwed up so bad that what they did to me is cutting right here in my mouth really bad like cutting all to pieces I can constantly taste pain it hurts 24 7 I bite down on I can't talk or eat without biting and chewing my own mouth it's so awful and painful and it really makes me miserable um, but I refuse to take ibuprofen for it because I don't like I don't want to take medicines, I don't like that, but I will be willing to rub gel in my mouth to numb it, so glad I got that. That's just a backup, I already have some. And lastly, on my, so I didn't buy any of that, my godmother bought that for me. So and lastly, 
if you're a Star Trek nerd, then you are definitely going to explode at my last bit of my haul. Because this is, like, you're going to love it. I'm a Star Trek nerd, major Star Trek nerd, Star Trek geek, whatever you want to say. I'm a major Trekkie. I'm a Trekker. I don't care if you want to call it a Trekkie or a Trekker. I'm both. I'm all of the above. I love Star Trek. And so... It's usually hard for me to get Star Trek stuff because I don't have a lot of money. This stuff was a great find. There's a little consignment shop type thing called Enjoy. And it's my one of my favorite places to shop at. It's only open on specific hours and people donate stuff to them. It's a Christian organization. They sell them for cheap and they donate all of that money to good causes and stuff like that. Um, so... I went to Enjoy, and I usually find some really good finds like Pokemon collectibles. But no, I got this majorly awesome Star Trek haul that I'm about to show you, and you're not going to believe it. I, for one thing, I got a bunch of Star Trek books. I already have the books Reunion, Vendetta, Nightshade, and War Room. And I also have the Star Trek... Um, TOS book, oh, episode book three, uh, which is perfect, except it doesn't have the cover, and that's sad, like, the only thing it's missing is the cover of the book, it's sad, but it's still readable, so that's okay, so, I have Star Trek four, which is, you know, because I have three, so I got four now, so that's cool. I got, that was 25 cents. I got Star Trek The Motion Picture. It's a novel by Gene Roddenberry, the, um, the Star Trek creator, actually. And so, Star Trek The Motion Picture, 25 cents. I got Star Trek The Captain's Table. Um, for 25 cents. Now, these are some hardcover copies, so they're so good looking. And they look pretty new. Star Trek, The Next Generation, Mzadi. When I say they look new, I mean the condition. Star Trek, Mzadi. And these were half price, by the way. All of the hardcovers were half price, so it says $1, but they were 25 cents, actually. Star Trek, Best Destiny. And Star Trek Ashes of Eden. And one thing I want to point out by Star Trek Ashes of Eden is that if you look, it's actually written by William Shatner. And William Shatner is the guy that played the original Captain Kirk in Star Trek TOS. So that's really cool to me. So I got each of these hardcovers for 50 cent and the 25 cent ones for full price. And the last find is just like, it made me explode with excitement. It is a 1995 Jean-Luc Picard figure with accessories. It says, responding to a distress, a distress call, distress call from an alien vessel, the USS Enterprise NCC 1701B voyages into the path of a space phenomenon known as the Nexus Ribbon. Admiral Kirk transcending space and time via this phenomenon encounters Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. Together these two generations of commanders join forces to thwart the devious plans of Dr. Soren and save countless star systems. It's the ultimate voyage beyond the next generation. And, um, it's, so yes, yeah, Star Trek Generation. And it, uh, comes with an action base, a tricorder, a Type 1 phaser, a, um, family album, and a Starfleet monitor. And yes, this is, um, 1995 by Playmate Toys in Hong Kong. And, um... Actually, it's 1994. If I didn't, I said five, didn't I? It's four. And yes, look, mint condition, totally sealed. And if you're asking me if I'm going to open it up and play with it, no. It's going to stay mint condition and beautiful. 
and just being a wonderful part of my collection and I'm probably gonna actually put a nail in the wall so I can hang it by its little hangy thing because it is wonderful mm. so I got that and this was five dollars I'm legitimately like really happy about that they had a bunch of other Star Trek figures like from 2009 uh one thing from 2008 I think um I think something from 1998 as well but I'm not quite sure I don't exactly remember they had several Kirks they had a Kirk version of um this they had the the Kirk in the um of this series the Star Trek Generations figure set from 1994 uh but uh oh and it includes an exclusive mini Star Trek Generations movie poster so, and, uh, so yeah, I'm very happy about this. And it says, hailing all collectors, individually numbered figures. So yes, this collector's very happy, and I want to grow my Star Trek collection to be amazing. Anyway, so, I got that for five bucks. So all in all, today I got three hardcover Star Trek books. Three, um, paperback Star Trek books. One 1994 Star Trek collector's figure in mint condition. One beanie baby. One really nice cup. Two Japanese figure collectibles. One large sketchbook. 48 oil pastels, pardons. One, two of mouth gel. And one, two, three, four, five, five eighties CDs, and one Broadway cast recording CD, technically two from one musical actually. And so I am so very happy at this haul. If you want more hauls or more videos or anything like that, then you can have them. And I'm sorry this isn't edited, but I'm not sorry. I don't have the time to edit them right now. I got a lot of work to do with my room and working in my whole house at the moment because uh, things in my family have just gotten a bit crazy this afternoon and I have a lot I need to look out for so but I hope you enjoyed this video and know that I'm off hiatus now and or hound hiatus. if there's anything that you want to see make sure you type it down in the comment section below type down what you think type anything down I will respond to any and every comment that I get um uh, make sure you hit that little old like button to let me know if I'm doing something right and if you like what you'll see. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, share me on your social medias and such. Make sure you follow my Twitter for updates and stuff and keep track with me. Um, uh, yeah, that's 